Today is day 354 of web development. It is also Friday, July 8th, 2022. And um, I want to do something different today. So it's been a while since I've worked with SVGs. Um, Yeah, day 295 was the last day I worked with SVGs. But I, op- I actually opened up day 293 because it has a line and I forgot how to I forgot pretty much everything about SVGs. No, I, I know the concept. I just forgot, like, which one has, like, X and Y, and then which one has, like, height and wh- whatever. Anyway, um, I'm going to try to replicate. Where is it? I had a button open. Okay, here it is. Um, I'm going to try to replicate this button over here, um, the at home button, and I'm going to try to have a transition where the arrow kind of pops up when I hover over the button. Um, so I'm going to try to do that. If not, then whatever. I'm going to try to do it with the transition property, which I've used before, but I haven't used it in a long time, so I probably forgot. Um, so I'm going to go and uh, go to CodePen and create a new CodePen. Oops, not a collection. I should probably do collections. It's very messy in CodePen. I haven't organized anything. Okay, what day is it today? Um, day 54. All right, so I'll start with my, why, okay. what is going on there? I can't spell. So here's my boilerplate code, my head tags and my body tags. Um, so inside my body basically um, is everything you're going to see on the left side of the screen on your site. Um, so I'll start with um, a div wallet container. And um, I'll go here. What's wrong? Container. Nothing could be wrong. Border five pixels black solid. All right, that should pop up there. Let's give it a height of maybe 50. BH is probably gonna be too much. Um, margin 50 pixels, border radius um, 20 pixels, and then probably um, a width of 25% of the screen or something like that. Actually, you know what I should do? I should go to the body and just center the whole thing. Um, display thoughts. I'm not really going to explain anything today. I'm just walking you through the process because I am so tired. I just want to go to sleep. Okay, so this centers it horizontally. If I could spell center, and this centers it um, vertically. Oh my god. Okay, um, maybe change the width to be 40%, something like that. Let me save that and look at what it looks like. Okay, I guess it's fine. Maybe if I delete the margin. Why is it like that? I'm literally saying to center it at the center and it's not doing that. It's probably because it doesn't have a slot cutter. Yeah, that's why. Okay, so I need the height to be 100 bh. So now it's at the center. Perfect. There you go. Okay. So in this box thingy, I'm gonna have a link for now. Um, actually, you know, I'll do it from the beginning. So I'll do um, an unordered list. And then I'll do the list item. Here's my list item. Here's my unread list. This is gonna say something like, what does this say? This says at home, so we'll do at home apparently. Oops. Alright, so then I'm gonna go here and target the list item to get rid of the bullet point, which is a list style property. Um, and then to get rid of the underline, I have to target the A because that's an A property, so it's text decoration. 
set that to none because currently it sets underlined and change the color to something like black for now. Uh, maybe font size. I'll do um brand new pixels. Probably too much. Oh no. Alright, and then I want the container itself to also center everything, so I'll do I'll give it a display of flex also. And I'll justify content center um align items center. Okay, so notice that it's actually not in the center, so that must mean that there's other things in it so i have to figure out what that is and why it's like that so i'll probably have to give an unordered list of order so i can see that's why so the unordered list has to have a text align of center as well or not or maybe Oops. I just want to make sense. Um, if I move it, I could though. Give this a display flex, and then justify. Content center. What? Literally nothing works. Okay, whatever. Is it because I have it set up here? Hmm. Let me think. Where is that space coming from? And if I go up to here and zero out any margin that there isn't any padding. There we go. Alright, so that's good. Um so let me go back over here. I figured it would be something that, you know, I didn't do because I just started writing code. Like what is there to be a mistake, you know? So it's obviously the um default padding that the browsers have. So if I just do this, it kind of defaults everything to zero. Um, the margin and the padding to zero, and the um, star is basically the everything selector. All right, so now it's um, working like that. And if I hover over it, um, you know, it's, it shows me that it's a link. Um, but when I hover over it, I need something to happen. So when I do a ULLI a hover, I need a certain thing to happen. But for a certain thing to happen, I have to first draw it. So I have to go over here, I believe, inside. Uh, my HTML and make the line, but I believe I have to put my SVG tags here first. I believe that's how that works. All right, and then oh, here's a problem. So now that's affecting the position of everything because um now the SVG is also a flex item along with the link or along with the UL. So that's an issue. Um, so what I could do though is I could just set the SVG to have a position of absolute and that would kind of go over it um, and not be in the container anymore technically. We'll fix that later. Anyway, so I believe it's X1. I don't know. I don't even remember the parameters. Do they go in here? X1, something like that. I don't even know. Let me see my code if it with me from the other day. So X1, oh yeah. Um, so I'll just literally copy it. Like I literally have no time right now. Um, where's my stuff? So just paste that in there. Okay, so I have to figure my life out right now. So the first point. Um so let me think. This is under SVGs. Where is my SVG tag? Okay. So I have to create an actual SVG um, container over here. So I should pop up there then. Perfect. Okay, and I want the actual stroke to be black. 
so that's my life. Now I'm going to kind of um, figure my life out at this point. So I first want to give the SVG a border so I can kind of know what I'm looking at. So I'll give it um, border, five pixels, black, solid. Oops. Oh my god, that's horrible. Okay, so I want to give it the same width and height as um, the container. So maybe I can just delete this and give this. Oh no, because then... Oh, you know what I could do? I could just do relative, right? And then I could just move the SVG outside of the container. Where is the F? Oh, it's over here. Smart. Okay, just put that over here. Put it outside of the container. And we have that. And then I'll put the SVG over here um, relative to the container. And give it a height of 100% and a width of also 100%. Why is it like that? It should be the height and width of um, the container, but it's not. It's actually the height and width of the um, body, which is a problem, and it's also affecting the whole thing. You know what? Um, let me go back. No, let me go back here. All right. All right. So back to where we were. Um, what was I going to do again? Oh yeah, I was going to manually do it here. So I was going to do a height of whatever the container's height was, which is 50vh, and a width of whatever the container's width was, which was 40%. Okay. And I also gave it a border radius of, what, 20 pixels? I don't remember. Okay, perfect. So that's the SVG. Um, so inside the SVG, I can do kind of like vectors, right? And one of them being lines. So if I go back here, I can kind of, you know, um, figure my life out or whatever. This would have been a little easier if these, the height and width was like, oh, this sucks. It would have been easier if the height and width was like set numbers instead of like this. Like, come on, sorry, I could have thought of that, but, oh my god. What if I do... What if I, instead of a width of, what would be 40%? I don't know. Let's do 400 pixels. All right, so that decreases it. So probably 600 pixels. 500? Okay, let's do 525 pixels. Five thirty pixels. Okay, five ten. Why is it different here and then here? Oh, it's because. Okay, yeah, one second. Duh. I have to go here and get this same length over here. There we go. Now it's all good. All right, now. Um, that I have at least fixed numbers. I at least could get something. I don't even know. I wish it was like a little bit better. I could have done better because I had the width, I believe, 300 and 600, and then I could have, you know, done the stuff easier, but I guess I'll have to do with this. So the first point on the X, um, let me just, um, what was I going to do again? All right, let me just take a screenshot and do the math because I don't want to be doing the math mentally because... Yeah, that doesn't work. So, did I not take a screenshot? Hello? Hello? Okay. Alright, so at this point, um, let me think. So, let me actually open up. Not open up, but bring on my tablet. Let me, oh my god, wait, I can't use my tablet on this laptop. I haven't even figured it yet. Oh, that sucks. Alright, never mind. Um, okay, so, what was I going to do again? Oh yeah, so if the height is 50 VH, so this would be 0, and this would be 50. Um, and then the width is 0, 
um, and then it's 510, all right? And so the center, I guess over here it would be 25, and then, oops, and that would be 510 divided by 2, would be 255. Um, so if I want the line to be over here, I would have something like this. Oh my god, I should have done a path instead. Why do I do this to myself? I should have done a path because, oh my god. Okay, let's fix it later. It's okay. So, um, if that's the center, um, then I need basically the blue point over here. I need whatever that point is, and I also need whatever um, this point is over here. Are you kidding me? I didn't say, I said orange or yellow, whatever. I need whatever that point is, and um, I also need it over here, so it's going to be the same. I could do this. Oh, hold on, I could do this a little bit nicer. Alright, so starts at 0 and is at 50. Alright, middle is 25. And then I'll do another color. Starts at 0 and is at 510. And then middle is 255. So I want my line to be. here. Okay, so I need, um, my height is going to stay the same. It's going to be whatever, right, this point is over here, maybe below 25 a little bit. So my Y1 is going to be probably, I don't know, 27, 26, along with my Y2, because they're going to stay in the same position on the Y axis. So maybe that's what I'm estimating. So again, this is the y-axis. This is the x. All right, and for the x, I have to find two points. I have to find this point and this point. So this one would be that point over here, and this one would be this point over here. And I am assuming, I'm just going to eyeball it. If this is 510, maybe this is, it's not going to be too far off, maybe 230. And then if it's equidistance, um, and if it would be 55, um, would be 55 plus 25, which would be 80, so maybe 280. All right, so this would be my x1. And this would be my x2, all right, because I'm taking two coordinates. So my first coordinate, right, this one, um, starts with my x, so it starts with 230, and which is my x1, and then my y1 is it would be around 27, right, and then my second coordinate, which is this one over here, right. The little red one. Um, I'll start with about 280 and then again that would be my x2 and then my y2 would be again like around 27. So um, that's my estimation. So I'm just gonna control s this and I'm gonna put it in my delete folder because I always delete these after. Um, we'll call the estimation. You guys want that right for once. Alright, so what's the first one? So 230, um, 27, 280. So I'll change this to 230, 27. Oh, sorry, 280, 27. Oh my god, am I dumb? Alright, so, oh, because it's 50 VH, not 50 pixels. Oh my god, why do I keep doing this? Alright, so I was 
is roughly there with um the estimates. I just have to bring it all the way down because it's oh what if I do does VH work here? I don't think so, does it? Oh you know what I Oh it does oh my god. All I have to do is do a VH. There we go. See all right, kind of okay. Um and I said again I was an estimation, so I just have to kind of maybe move this back, so maybe two hundred. And then maybe um Wait, it was 230, right? And I did minus 30, so then I have to do plus 30 here. So it is that three times. Oh, no. Yeah, perfect. Okay, and then I'll just maybe do 29 to bring it down a little bit. And then the width, maybe have it to be two. Or is that too small? Maybe three. God bless you, Hennessy. And then maybe now I put it back to 27, see how that works. No, it doesn't, definitely has to have some more space. So 28, 28. Okay, much better. Um, maybe I won't do the arrows because I think that requires a path and I don't have time for that. I truly don't. So, um, yeah, that's it. Okay. Um, now what am I going to do? So this is where the transition part comes in. So I have this little thingy over here. Um, I have the SVG. So maybe when I hover, I do a transition. So I think I have a page open with a source that it says, okay, so the property, the duration, time, function, and delay. So in my case, the, my, the property that I'm doing is oh my god maybe i don't know because i use an svg <laughs> oh my god maybe visibility i could do visibility hidden no visibility visible but i want it like i want it to be kind of like um i don't know how to explain it i want it to draw itself that's what i want to do i want it to have it draw itself so i want to control each um all right, I don't even know how to do that. Transition with two seconds, I two seconds. Can I just do this in CSS? Oh my god, I can. Hold on. So I can do SVG. How do I? Can I just do line? And I can do X1 is equal to 200. Um y1 is equal to 28 pH, y well, x2 is equal to 310 pixels, pixels, and then y2 is equal to 28 pH. See if that works without all of this jazz. Oh my god, I'm gonna cry. What's the issue now? I didn't, I have it. Hold on, let me see if I've ever done it. I know that, let me check. Okay, for this one, let me look at the code. See, I've done it with CSS before, see? Just I haven't done lines, I've only done circles. And I've done all lines here, but I'm assuming I can do it with CSS, can I not? Look at this. See, I even did a path. Oh, but those are the properties itself. Have I have? I mean, have I have what? Do, do I have a line? Those are lines or paths. Those are paths. Let me just search up CSS on SVG. Okay, but how do you put it in CSS though? Is it possible even to put it in CSS? Like those parameters, I don't even know. Whatever. It's okay. Um, 
how many does her I think. So I'm just gonna go back and put those back. And my streaming goes. Oh, I'm so dumb. Why am I like this? I was using equal signs instead of oh, coins. I didn't know because I didn't. I remember doing the same mistake when I was learning SVGs. I was like, literally, when will I ever learn? Okay. Um, let me see if it works now. Nope, still doesn't. Okay, that's great. Either way, it doesn't work. Doesn't matter. All right, let me just delete this. Um, and then try to figure out how I can use a transition. Maybe how? Maybe I could do um transition property with. SVGs. What is this? Uh oh. -uh. What is this? Oh. Um, animating SVG to CSS. No. No. Maybe I should be more clear. SVG line. Okay, SVG, width, border, stroke, stroke width, stroke blah, blah, blah. Okay, see, I do have that. Um, oh my god, not JavaScript. I literally cannot. I'm um, not, I refuse to, no, I refuse to use JavaScript. I can't even say the word. How to approach. I mean, I can do that, can I? Because if I could just, I can get these properties working in CSS. So I could do line, if I could actually get that and kind of put it up there, so stroke. Are you like serious right now? Like, what in the world? Is it still type? No, because it's a line. It has to be. How about I manually write it? Oh, that's why I'm so smart. So smart, sorry. All right, and then at this point, I guess I could change the color. I don't think I will be able to draw the line, but I can change the color. Or the stroke so my transition the property would be the stroke and then what is it also don't tell me i exited out of the oh my god i think I, oh that sucks oh is it here yeah thank god property duration so um we'll do duration two seconds and what's the next thing so we have property duration time functioning timing functioning what does it even mean like a delay Two seconds, five seconds, I don't even know. Okay, let's just do two seconds. So, but I only want that to happen. When, how do I, oh my god, let me think, okay. Oh, okay, perfect. So wait. Font size. Okay, so, but I don't want it to be here though. So this is over here, and I'm assuming it's when I do line cover. I want the stroke to be green.
But that doesn't even happen, so what now? Font size 36 pixels. How about I specify? What was I doing again? Oh, putting these things here. See, now it works. Um, I could do maybe five so I could see it a little bit better. So it works, but I also want something, I wanted it to be able to draw itself, like just appear. Um, but like drawing itself, I can easily make it appear and disappear when I hover over it, but I want it to draw itself also. Um, maybe I could do visibility, visible, and then here have it, visibility, hidden. Visibility of the line to be visible or SVG. Visibility. Let me put that here. Oops, not that. Maybe over here. And then I have to think if I'm hovering over the A, I need the A to be above the SVG. So I need the UL itself to have AZ index to, let's see if that works. Nope. Let me think. So visibility visible, the line should be visible when I hover over the A. Um, I set the visibility to hidden. Or maybe... No, because I do want it to be visible when I have it over the A. Maybe because it's an element. Oh. I hover a how about I set the line and I also give it an ID of line. Did that work? No. So how would I get it to work? Hmm. Let me think. So at home, the visibility is visible. So maybe, um, maybe. What if it's when I target it? So when I target it, the A, I need the line. When I click on the A, I need it to go to hashtag link. And I'll give this an idea of link. So when the link is targeted, then set the visibility to visible. No, that doesn't work either. Did I even spell it right? I don't even know at this point. There's a visibility visible. Huh. How about I set the visibility to Oh no, because now the A doesn't show. Interesting. Or I can set it in the way that I want. So I want the container to be all the way in the back. So I'll start and do Z index negative one. And then I want the UL to have the Z index of zero. And then I want the SVG to have the Z index of one. That still doesn't work. Ah. I'm confused as to why it doesn't work. Oh. This doesn't work either. What's going on? Let me get rid of the Z index over here. Z index over here. Okay. 
so that works. But then why doesn't the visibility work? I am setting the visibility of a line to hidden. I should hide that line. We think. So the line, I want the visibility set to hidden, and then when I hover over the A tag, so when I do unavailable this item A, and I hover over it, I would like the line to now have a visibility of visible. But I'm confused as to why. Does it work? It does not work is it because it's behind it. Or is it because this is weird? Oh. Okay. What the? I have a very good thing. I have a very good thing. Let's play ball. Oh, I don't even know what I'm doing. Mm, nope. It's not a class dog. Hmm. Hmm. Actually, I see what this does, but that doesn't do it. Where is the hover? Oh. I don't even know now. Okay, let me go out of here. Let me just start thinking. Apparently, nothing's working. Where's my code? Okay. Um, I just I don't understand why it's not working. It should be working. If I set the visibility hidden, that it should be visible when I hover over the A tag, because I don't want I don't want it to be when I hover over the line that it appears. Interesting. The A isn't working. Hmm. No, that's why. You notice the difference? 
Okay, so I think I got it. Maybe, maybe not. If I don't have this, look at my mouse. The A isn't working. So usually when you have a link, your mouse changes. But because I have an SVG, I'm assuming the SVG is on the top. And that's why when I'm telling it to, um, when I'm telling it to change the, vis the visibility of the line, when I hover over A, it's not working because I'm not hovering over A because A is behind the SVG. And so when I do this, the under the list, notice that now the mouse changes is because I can have access to the A now. But I believe that the problem is that the, um, SVG now has some other Z index, which I tried figuring out earlier, but let's play around and see what I can do with this. If I have a Z index, so it has to be on top now, or at least it has to be on top of the container. So the container needs to have a Z index. Let me even go as far as to say that the body has a Z index of negative one. The container has a Z index of zero. The, um, line would have to have a Z index or at least SVG of one, yeah. But it's still not appearing, oh my God. The Z index, let me give it a background. Right. Why is it on top? Oh, it's not, it's probably, let me do another. Because the text is, I mean, the text is black, so I might see it. There we go. So I know that the UL is still on top regardless of the SVG, and I could still see the SVG regardless of the container, but why don't I see the line? So maybe it's a line that I have to say, the index to be one, but it's still not appearing, which absolutely sucks. When the line. Oh no, I need the line itself to just have the Z index of one. Hmm. But then I can have that over here. Get on this. But it just still doesn't make sense why it's not working. This literally does not make sense. When I hover over, I guess I'm not going to do that part then, but I could do it though, but I just looked down and it's not working. The whole part, the whole point is that I could do that visibility thing, but I just wanted to show how it's only going to pop up as a line and I don't want that, I want, I want the line to be drawn, which sucks, but at least this works, right? And then the um, stroke is being green. And then I could also do, I guess if I have to paste it, because it's really um, I just really wanted to do something, the visibility part. I don't know why it's not working. I want to try to do another code pen and see if it'll work this time. So let me open a new code pen. Alright, so I'm just gonna go and go to bullet That is not. I want to watch a movie right now. I don't care. Okay. Um, let me think, let me think. Alright, so SVG. And then in shot, I'll do the body tab. I'll just get it from here. Where is it? Okay. Line. I'll just paste that in between the SVG tags. 
Alright, and then in the line of the CSS, I'll just give it a stroke. Um, green. And, oh, I forgot the SVG also needs like a height. And then I also need the stroke width to be red. Alright, now at this point, if I have like a certain link, let's say I make a link in my HTML and say like href of and then I go here and I say, okay, when I hover over this link, I want the lines visibility to be visible, but then the visibility of the line over here is hidden. Interesting is the part. Nope. Wow. What if I do the SVG instead? Does it work? Am I going crazy? Or am I just, or just do I not know how to target these things? How about SVG? What? How to have SVG um, visible when over overlay? Do I have to give it a class? Oh. It still doesn't work. Like, that's exactly what I'm doing.
Oh my god, my line is absolutely positioned. Or absolutely positioned. Hmm. This is an absolute imposition, so what's the problem? I think you know I have no idea.
Wow, 50 hours, and I finally found an answer. This isn't supposed to work, apparently. Puffs are only supposed to work on things that are visible. That's why it works on the link when I tell you to change the background. Um, let's do this. That doesn't make sense. Okay. Right, that's why it works on this, because the link is visible. That's why this works. But because the visibility of the box itself is hidden, Puffer won't work on it because it's already hidden. But if I deleted this and I did dot box, it would change the color to pink or not. At this point, I don't know. What did it say? Visibility. This is what the button did that. It's so weird. I don't even know. I'm so lost. I need to go to sleep. I can't do this anymore. Um, at least this worked. Let me change this real quick to be something on the smaller. And then, at least that happens. And then let me make it pretty. So, CSS, gradient, generator. Hmm. 
gas. This is a quick container. Don't know how to get stuck. I change it to the color of the But that's the thing, I don't want it to happen when I put it over the line, I want it to happen when I put it over the A. But that wouldn't work again because apparently, however, it's supposed to work like anything that is visible and has some sort of wooden head. So that's really annoying. And let me just set up today's date. Duplicate. Cool. Hello. What is today's date? I literally spent an hour trying to figure out why a line doesn't appear on my page. That's great. I'm gonna just continue this tomorrow and figure things out because apparently, okay, at least I came to the conclusion that I learned something new. 
and A, how they're only left so that are visible and have us only left in height. So that's great. I guess I'll have to work up to her again. Oh, uh, well, no, no. Where's my stuff? Alright, that's it for today. Um, I'm gonna go to sleep now. Oh wait, now what do you decide to do at this point? Oh my god, I'm gonna go. I can't even right now. Oh my god. I'm so tired. Okay. Oh, I can't even speak. Okay, bye.